Uh, welcome back to the Artie Lang Show. And what, what do I keep hearing you guys yelling? What's going on over there? I mean, start looking, start acting a little professional. Do you know what's going on? We Scott are. <laughs> We're trying, Mike just said he spent $60 on this stuff today. No. Yeah, oh, no, it's a tax write off. What? <laughs> it's a tax wrong off. It's what absurd. Is that? <laughs> Listen, exactly. you know, Gino, you don't, you know what your name means in English? <laughs> <You're> Crowbar, <laughs> buddy. I think that's what the scon thing means. That was stupid. Yeah, but it, listen, you, you should be happy Gino's crowbarring in some advice here. Sixty dollars, Mike. What are you, what are you doing with your money? Just I'm pissing just, I got it a, away. No, no, I don't. I got a lot of dough put away. I, I put a. I put some money away. Wait, no, but you bought three watches for the twins of me. That's 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 ten dollars right there. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <laughs> well, well, too I'm, long, I'm, you know. I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm a little worried about the sixty dollar. Uh, it's an event, you know. I don't want to have to fun. do what, Mike. To do what? To come in here with a Viking hat? The Vikings are popular on the History Channel now, aren't they? Are. But what? What is it? Why should you have to pay sixty dollars for a hat? Because of the Viking Channel. I think they're doing really well, and people like them now. I don't it's think it's an actual Viking hat. I hate to be to be the killjoy <laughs> no, here. I don't think that's what a real Viking would uh, wear. No, no, well, no, no. This, looks like, protective. this looks like it's Roman, and they just added on to the, the horns, really. I don't, think yeah. you could real, I don't think you could get on a Viking ship with that hat, Mike. Mike's starting, to go, Mike's starting to go, listen, they can't pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> I'm starting to see the scam here. <laughs> it looks like a Roman hat. They put plastic no, on. No, but John is right to point this out. This is a Roman shield and sword. Vikings had axes, like double, double yeah, axes. Yeah, that, that is a Roman shield, yeah. I but who cares? Was... But why did he buy it? Why did you? I can ask him, couldn't I? Why did but you again, buy it? Try to get a good answer out of him. Yeah, Mike, I, think, I still don't you. know. I want to know. G uh, Mike Gino Biscani, first time, long time. I'm curious <laughs> as to why you uh, wore the outfit. Okay, why well, have the partial outfit? I was looking for the rest of the outfit, but they didn't have it really. But <laughs> it's odd they didn't have it. You can't buy off the rack in medieval outfits. <laughs> <laughs> That's I, was, I was looking for those Viking boots to come up to like uh. to, to, to like hips almost, you know, far, but I couldn't find them. Yeah, well, yeah, but but where, you thought you were gonna find them that fit you? How are we gonna find them that fit you? <laughs> no, they they, they yeah, Vikings, you have to go to the big and tall Viking shop. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, the Vikings are big people too, though. They're not they're not tiny. They like weren't. They were ropes. big for back then. No, they nobody was big back then. Everybody was four foot two back then. So yeah. Vikings are like five feet three. Uh. <laughs> now I'm saying if you said they were, say. you know, yeah, it is, John, because I think the Vikings be like over six foot and like 300 pounds at least. <laughs> no, but back then everybody was real tiny. They were big people for back then. <laughs> you, a Viking, a normal Viking outfit, you couldn't fit into it at all. You would be considered a, a snow monster. And, and that's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, thank you. You'd be considered one now and so. Yeah, you, you'd be considered like the great Boschetti. <laughs> the I'm great not... Boschetti from the South. And I'd love to be the guy. Look, they gave him a child proofed like horn. Look, that, it's like nubbed at the end. <laughs> like, it, oh, like yeah. uh, you know, you better give him the uh, rounded tips. He'll hurt himself. <laughs> yeah, but I can I can play Toro later with my brother at home. You'd like, be known. You'd be known as the great Boschetti monster from the south. And everybody thinks he's mean to the Viking children, but then one Viking child finds out that you're really a sweet person and you feel sorry for yourself. You live alone in a cave and you're always like, uh, yeah. trying to find Mrs. Viking. Mike, you know what you need to find? And, and please get three. You need to. That's close. He needs water buffalo hats from the Flintstones. Uh, that would be that's perfect. That's what that looks like. You, you yeah. put like blue felt on that, you know? You get water buffalo. Hats. <laughs> blue felt. I wanted the Roman <laughs> kind of you know, but the Romans just weren't that big either, though, really. I did mean. you just spit all over your chin? <laughs> no. Yeah. You did. But I, mean, I don't know. I mean, Liz, you know. he spit all over your jacket. Did I, no, Ew. I didn't spit on his jacket. Liz, Liz, <laughs> Liz is Liz gets so mad about Boschetti's manners. Liz's reaction to that was so like honest. Sorry, Liz. Like, it's like you like, can tell, like, I, I, Liz uh, is always fake about Boschetti. No, no, I'm not. Nice I'm not always fake. When, when you saw no, that, Liz, Liz when you saw me. that, the real like, you're so nice, Mike. We love you. No, no, I don't want no, anyone no, spinning on my no, jacket. Of course, you want spinning on your jacket? No, no. You know, Audie, you, normally girls like you charge extra to have you spin. Good one, Gino. Real clever. Gino, I'm happy to be here. The sexual stuff's all. Gino, you know what? You just you just you got a lot of inner anger towards the twins. I don't have any inner anger. You know why? Yes, you do, but you know why? And you have a lot of outer anger. Watch this. Watch this, Mike. I love your Viking hat. How's that? Better? It don't cut it, Gino, because put it this way: don't try to shim sham me, because you have a lot of inner anger towards the twins. No inner anger. You know why? Don't try to shim sham me. I like everybody. No, Gene. You know why? Minorities. You have a lot of inner hostility for them, because you know why? Why? They would rather eat rocks and live and die before they would. 
even touch a, a bone in your body. Buddy. Yeah, totally but, but, right. that, but it seems that that's the same way about you, Mike. No, when, yeah, Liz, well, yeah. when Liz thought you spit near her, she went, Oh my God, you're gross, get away from me! It's only normal, though. Of course, it's only normal. Yeah, you don't mind. You, mind. You, don't mind. you wouldn't mind, like, uh, like John Mayer. Oh, here yeah. you say, like, Brad Pitt, right? No, Jake Gyllenhaal. No. I'm not Jake saying, Gyllenhaal? Yeah, he could said spit, that? He could spit all over you. No. How old is Gyllenhaal? He's probably, like... He's a famous movie actor. Oh, I, no, I know his name, but I, I really he's know He's a famous like. movie actor, and you're not. <laughs> no, I didn't no, say that. No, she didn't that. say that. I mean, I... And I always try to correct Bochetti, yeah. because one time when Chelsea brought the cheesecake, he was eating both with his hands, and I just said, we can't act like that. So I was trying to teach him with a fork. I'm trying to help yeah. him with his manners. Yeah, she Are was, they she teaching was. Mike how to eat? He looks like he's got that down. <laughs> wait a minute, Mike. Wait a minute, Mike. You were, Mike, 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 wait a minute. You were, tr you were eating cheesecake with, yes. your, with yes. your fingers? You know, when I reach in Hollywood, I'll catch all your gigs and beef steaks. Oh, you cannot Mike, care for buddy. Here, well, watch me turn this all around. I was listening on the way back from my gig on the iHeartRadio app, which I recommend everyone download if they have serious. Yeah. Um, Dude, I think Artie was was weighing you down on the improv stuff. I think Mike was spot on with uh -oh. some of that stuff. Yeah, what about returning to some improv? Yeah, I'd right like now. to I'd like to witness some improv. No, or are Audie, we doing that later? No. Am I, am I... Audie is the king of improv. He's John Belushi. <laughs> yeah. no, right, no, well, no, 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 no. We'll try it again. You want to try it again? I'd okay. Love, would you? Gino's trying to play right, it ahead, on a piece. I am not. I thought it was. Go ahead, Liz. Give us give us uh, an occupations and a, and a situation. Oh, you guys are camp counselors, and it's the first day of camp, and you're trying to get all your crazy kids to behave. All right, you ready? I'll start. Mr. Machetti, the kids are running rampant, and, you know, we want to keep these jobs as counselors because it gets me my health benefits. What do we... <laughs> can we please get these kids together? How do you suggest we get the kids together? Let's round up the Ritalin and just keep them in line a little bit, you know, just make sure they don't misbehave. <laughs> <laughs> You are right. dead weight, Larry. All right, I want to. I want to stop the. I want to stop. The. <laughs> Let's round up the Ritalin. Right, you go right to the Ritalin. Keep them quiet. Keep those zoo animals quiet. I mean, I don't have the patience for. But again, that much. ends the scene. Do you understand? You have to perpetuate the scene. You have to keep the scene going by giving them Ritalin. They're just dead then. Yeah, keep them quiet. Like you know, like they don't bother anybody. All, all day. right, let's give them Ritalin, and now they're dead. So end the scene. <laughs> Doesn't Ritalin, um, if you're not hyperactive, it just make you even spazzy? I think Ritalin, once you give it to people... See, just... see, Mike, I think, and now, I'm, and as much as I was a big fan, I think you missed it because you had it right there. You should have been like, well, all I have is one Viking hat, and then you throw it right back at Artie. Yeah, why? here's the thing. Gino brings up a good point. You have props. Yeah. You haven't used them once. You are the Gallagher of your <laughs> TV. Your yeah, but there's no need for, you know, a, a, a Viking hat in the kids' camp. Hey, I have a good idea. I have a There's good no idea. need for Riddle in either. It was bound to happen, John. I have a good idea for improv. Art, you and Artie are teenage girls, <laughs> and Bushetti is about to go out on his first date with the hottest boy in school. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's a good one. All right, ready? <laughs> hey, hey, uh, hey, Michelle, it's, it's, it's Amanda. I heard you're going to date Chad Wellington. Oh, I heard you have a date with Chad Wellington. Where are you going to go? Are you going to go to the drive-in? I'll do him for bologna sandwich. <laughs> what? <laughs> always, always say yes in him. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Michelle, are you saying you'll have sex with Chad if he gives you a bologna sandwich? Maybe, maybe a roast beef sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I, already I swear. I already say. <laughs> <laughs> he went right to the food. I love it. Yeah, I love food like sex. Oh, he, you know what's he, 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 crowbarred, he crowbarred in a, a baloney. And Mike was a girl. That's exactly how he did. <laughs> I won't be on the end. Mike, Mike was a girl. You could totally. He would totally do you for a baloney sandwich. No, I'd be a skankosaurus if I was a woman. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'll do it for baloney. <laughs> imagine the hideous, the hideous day. You take a girl out and you go, hey, 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 where do you want to go? Let's have a baloney sandwich. <laughs>